going on youtube john matrix here and we got a video here for a game called lies of p they're showing off some kind of boss fight showcase i am very excited for this game i am a huge fan of the dark Souls series elden ring bloodborne bloodborne is bloodborne is a masterpiece it's it's one of my favorite games of all time probably my top five if not maybe my top three uh favorite games of all time and um this game is from a new company i don't even know what the company's name is honestly um but i played the demo and i'm very excited for it it looks good the game feels great in my opinion a lot of people were i guess complaining about uh the speed of it and how slow it was but uh to me it kind of had more of sekiro style you need to like perfect parry and time your blocks to counter and stuff like that and i really like that sekiro kind of gameplay as well but it's in more of a kind of a victorian bloodborne ish kind of setting as well so i'm very excited for this so we're gonna check out this uh boss fight showcase here for liza p the game comes out i think next week so looking forward to it definitely gonna be playing it so let's check this out here Neo is okay. The round eight studio. What is that? I'm getting getting PTSD of flashbacks to Dark Souls 2 with uh people trolling with the dual shields. I remember. I remember. Obviously that's not working out for you. Okay, so we swapped out the weapon. Oh, okay, so maybe the, the electricity goes through the shields. Okay. Oh, some kind of uh, electric shock pulse from the hand there. I'm so ready for this game. Damn. I broke that man. What is that? That looks horrifying. What? That looks like something straight out of Bloodborne. I, okay. That looks terrifying. That looks absolutely terrifying. I'm for it. I'm all about it. Some kind of Cthulhu tree. Looks like he's got a fireman axe there. All the charge up attacks done him. Okay. He's got a, a flame dagger doing flame damage. Okay. Nice blocks, that's what I'm talking about right there. The perfect timing. I'm here for it. Oh, we ignited it. There it is. The perfect pair again. I'm so, I'm so hyped for this, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, what? Hey, excuse me, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta, we gotta watch that again. What was that? Some kind of like power backstab or something and just straight up annihilated the Cthulhu tree. Okay, we got we got flamethrowers here. And like stormtrooper vibes here with the with the flamethrowers. What is this? This is kind of having like a uh Bioshock infinite feel, almost. That clown looks absolutely horrifying. Like it on steroids. That uh, mecha scythe there. What is this, dude? Let's see, this is what I'm talking about with like with Bloodborne, dude. The blood everywhere on the water. That's so Bloodborne-ish. And even a lot of the monsters look very bloodborne-y, man. Like, uh, I'm very excited for this game. If you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell. The suit changed color. Like it's white here, and then when he gets knocked down, it turns red. That's pretty cool. Sharpening. 
Okay, we got a flamethrower arm attachment. That's dope. So I guess that's kind of how like magic's gonna work, which is very similar to uh, Bloodborne. Like there wasn't magic in Bloodborne. It was all like hunter's tools, like a little, uh, like in a little insecticide spray and a flamethrower and uh, um, like a little Tesla Tesla coil thing you throw down and it would like you know throw lightning out. It looks kind of similar, but through the use of your arm, you know, instead of just, you know, regular tools. Good lord. Oh, we got, we got the bunker pile from Armored Core. That's my favorite weapon, dude, in Armored Core. I gotta finish uploading my, my Armored Core playthrough. I finished it, got through NG uh, Plus and NG Plus Plus, so I gotta put that out, and I got some Armored Core builds in me putting out, but... Bro, something was dropping from the roof. What is that? Okay, so you can drive mines into the ground. Interesting. Okay, so you can like set up traps. I like that. Juicy with the butcher's axe here. Butcher knife, butcher axe, whatever. Dude, wailing away on him. Good lord. What? What is, dude, the monsters in this look insane. The creatures look crazy, dude. The art in this, this game just looks beautiful. I'm all about it. I'm so all about this. Like, there's been a lot of Souls-like games that have come out. Lords of the Fallen is another one that's coming out soon that I'm very looking forward to, but from playing the demo and with the art, this is the closest a company has gotten to like actual FromSoft, in my opinion, for a Souls-like game. Yikes. Yikes. That's brutal. What was that? Is that a cannon? a shield okay like a shield cannon arm okay scimitar has some kind of like finisher there that's what i'm talking about that axe right there great sword whatever like an axe great sword thing with that bane man's fighting bane over here <laughs> Hulk smash, brother. This looks so good. What is that? Nice. Good block. What is this? Oh, is there co-op or or is that like a spirit summon? Dude, look at the environment, man. You know the backdrop. This is this looks almost kind of like, um, like a, almost like an opera theater. You know, uh, with all the pews and the balconies up there in the back. And, you know, just the flames. It's it's so from soft. It's so souls like, dude. It's I love it. Take my money. What is that? What was that? Now he's fighting with a giant wrench. We've, we've gone into like Mario territory. We're, we're plumbers now. Eyes of P.
available September 19th. I think if you buy the deluxe edition, you can get it uh, a few days early. And I might be doing that to support this uh, company because this game looks really good. If you couldn't tell from my commentary through this, I'm very excited for this. I'm very much looking forward to this. Uh, I, I feel like if this game lives up to my excitement and what my expectations of it are, this could be uh, a new series to potentially, I don't want to say necessarily match Dark Souls, but it'll definitely be up there in that, you know, genre of games. It'll definitely be up in the, in the higher echelons of the Souls-like games. Um, and it's one that I could definitely see myself playing through several different times and several different builds. Um, I'm very looking forward to it. It, the art looks beautiful. The, the boss fights look great. The weapons look great. The design looks great. It looks like a mixture of several different games. Like I said, there's definitely parts of it that look very bloodborne -y, that like, you know, like Cthulhu, like tree, looking boss that he's fighting out in like a wooded looking area very much reminded me of like the the swamp area uh of bloodborne there's, there's like an area that's out in like a woody swamp area has it getting towards uh bergenworth in bloodborne looks looks very much reminded me of that and then of course the underground area where he was fighting some other like weird tentacly looking monster and there's blood everywhere and he's wearing the white suit and when he got knocked down, the, you know, the suit, the suit turned red. You know, that was very bloodborne -y, if also not um, the uh, Dark Souls 3 uh, painting DLC. I can't, the, the name of it uh, slips my mind at the moment. But, um, you know, that, that whole, you know, blood and rot theme from that DLC in Dark Souls 3, you know, very much vibes of that. So i'm very much looking forward to it i'm definitely going to be paying it definitely going to be streaming it going to be uploading my playthrough here on the channel on youtube if that is something you'd be interested in checking out and watching please do consider uh subscribing to the channel so you can check those out when i release them uh and you can also check me out on twitch.tv slash john matrix tv and you can watch me stream this live i'm also going to start streaming more here on the youtube channel um so yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh, I hope you will come and hang out and check out my gameplay of this when it's out. And uh, thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Have yourself a wonderful day and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.